if this is something you want to do, you just have to like not care, just do it. Hey Wolves, welcome back to my channel with the Wooden Seed segment. You are now in my garden. Welcome, welcome, welcome. More seeds to plant as we continue to grow on this journey. Today, which is just happens to be a coincidence, the topic at hand is why am I not consistent on social media? Which, as I said, is a coincidence because right now I'm presently taking a break off of Instagram, Twitter, mainly those two. They're still open, but I'm just I just don't want to be active. I don't want to like go on there. I spend way too much time on it, which leads me to my first point as why I'm not consistent on social media with my own ish. It's because I'm consistent minding other people's ish on social media instead of putting in that time and energy into working on my own projects and my own goals. Yeah, that needs to stop. I need to learn how to balance the two, like working on my ish and then also you know giving myself some leisure time to just go check out other ish like that has nothing to do with me or you know just scrolling through instagram as y'all know we could be there for hours like it could be a hot minute that we're on there i'm gonna go down i wrote some notes so like this video could be better organized going through i think i'm gonna make like some chapters whatever i'm gonna give you guys reasons why i'm personally not consistent on social media you might be like oh my god damn girl me too so basically mentally like on my mental i just find like it's just sometimes it could be too much on me for some days for me it's just overwhelming you know like there's some months i'll wake up and i'm like okay you know what kendra like i'll have like a whole outline i'll start up the week like with a whole plan and like okay guys introducing this i'm gonna do this week and if you guys want to see more stay tuned and then by like the second third week i'm just like overwhelmed like i'm overwhelmed it's 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 a job it's a job it's it's really a job and social media for me it should be fun not saying i don't love what i do because i love posting content like when it comes to hair carnival poetry you know even like a little bit of dabbling into fashion you know like when i find like cute little things from the thrift store or i put like my old clothes how i'm recycling my clothes like it's fun but when it becomes a job I feel like that's when it becomes overwhelming for me because I'm a person, I like to do things like freely. I'm not really much of a person that likes too much of a routine, um, which is ironic because I have a job that is routine. Like every day it's like nine, a nine to five and it's always the same shit that I'm doing, but like that's just for right now. Um, so yeah, so it just becomes overwhelming for me having to like always like follow the same schedule or just you know it just becomes overwhelming also it's like figure out what do i want to share what do i want to post because the internet you know you put up one thing and that one person catches it for that one second and they screenshot it they, they can use that shit against you for the rest of your life they could just wait for that moment to just oh well you said this back in 2000 and freaking five at this time on your twitter account da da da, da. so it's also me figuring out okay what do i want to share which i did write down what i would like to share what i want to speak on what i'm not going to be speaking on um doesn't matter what it is there's just certain things i just don't want to speak on and whatever image that gives me that's on y'all that's not on me so there's that too it's like figure out okay like what is it exactly that i want to share with you guys um, that's gonna be in my comfort zone, but still kind of out of my comfort zone to let you guys in, but like still have like my boundary because I'm a pretty private person. So I'm like, some like to call it secretive, but me, I like to call it private or just protective. Like I, I don't like, I don't need to give, you don't, you, no one should feel the need to give everybody everything, like no. So that's another reason why I'm not, like mentally is just, like in the mental part it's just like okay like how can i respect my boundaries but still let you guys in and share you share with you guys what i like to post also sometimes i don't have anything worth sharing like i don't for me personally i don't want to waste nobody's time and i don't want to waste my time like i don't want to make no video just doing nothing valuable or that could be valuable it could be funny because i love to laugh and i love jokes and i love making people laugh it could be definitely it could be funny um but if it's just like nonsense videos I'm not I'm not posting it if I don't see like what is what's the purpose of it like my why why am I posting this what can someone get out of it are they gonna get a laugh are they gonna learn something um can I give them a new can I inspire them to do something I don't see the 
reason to post. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and I overthink a lot sometimes. Yeah, and I overthink a lot sometimes. Like, I will post something up, but I'm just like, oh my god. Like, did I just share too much? Is everyone gonna understand, like, what I'm trying to convey? I think also, like, I think I could kind of say, can I say it's like kind of imposter syndrome? It's like, I feel sometimes I don't really post because I'm afraid to go that hard. Like, I'm afraid to eat up the internet and like just stop the internet for a minute. I promise you, I'm afraid of that. And that goes into my next chat, like the, my next reason why I'm not consistent on social media is because I suffer from knowing how to balance being humble, but also doing the most. It, it comes down to knowing your word too, knowing what you're capable of doing and you know, showing up and doing the most at the right time in the right spaces um and for, in the right like when the opportunity arises for you you know what i'm saying do my best with whatever i'm doing whether it's like a hair video um hair content a hairstyle whether it's like a wig or something to do or what is to do with carnival um what is to do with my poetry i tend to always like not want to like put my all into it with a fear of me coming across as being too much but it's just like when you do what you love and you do things that you want people to know that oh wow like they can do that they have that type of talent you want to do the most you want to stand out you want to be remarkable you want people to remember what you've done you want people to be like oh wow like that girl or that boy or that person they really they really every time they serve they serve like they serve you don't want to always play it safe and i find that's my struggle i'm always trying to like play it cute and play it safe you know like i can make a wig i can do this i can do that but you know like i don't want to like i don't want to step on nobody's toes i don't want to come across to you know like i really feel like i'm feeling myself and that to me i'm just like but why like I think there is a way to go about doing the most and showing that you can deliver. I'm still trying to figure out for myself how to do that. I'm just like, ooh. Like, it makes me cringe. And that's so weird. Like, imagine like you're able to, you're capable of doing things and you just, and you hold yourself back because you're, you're afraid. Like, you're afraid of like what that might actually, how that might actually turn out for you. You can be humble, but still let people know what you bring to the table, you know? Because sometimes you can be too humble and people will just overlook you. Like, no, but it's like, no, like you need to know when to take those opportunities to show yourself so you can shine. And it's not saying you have to go in the back and be like, oh yeah, like I know I was the best. Like, what was y'all thinking? Like y'all should have been booked. No, like it's about going, doing your ish, doing a marvelous like blow people away blow people away with your work like me i always say like make your talent speak for itself talent over hype say it with me guys talent over hype always always make your talent speak loud like the loudest like make your talent scream for you without you having to do much of like the talking or anything like you just go you do your thing I make people be amazed like oh my god that little shy humble girl over there that's always so sweet and so she was able to do wow i never knew that she had that in her or i never knew he had that in him you know like so that's where i'm trying to like you know make the two cohabitate with knowing my word i need to work on that because at least my next part of fear of failing but also like a fear of succeeding and doing like being humble or doing the most, I should say, me doing the most, I'm afraid that I might actually succeed and I don't know how to handle that type of stuff. Like, I've never been successful at any goal or anything I've done in life and that's that's due to just me self-sabotaging myself um, in certain instances and if you guys want, I could do a whole video on that as well. Actually, no, I am gonna be doing a video on that, but Sometimes I hold myself back and I don't post well on social media or I'm not consistent on social media because I'm I'm afraid. For one, I'm afraid of failing and I'm also afraid of succeeding. Cause and I'm more afraid of succeeding because I know what it's already like to fail. Like I failed so many times in life trying
trying things so like i'm used to that like we're well acquainted like we're good we have a good off and on relationship toxic relationship because like i want to get rid of him get rid of fear of failure but it just sticks around in the back of my mind you know but fear of succeeding that ish oh that really freaks me out because i'm just like especially being on youtube on social media it comes with like um supporters you know um like it comes with a lot of people supporting you a lot of followers and for me that freaks me the out and it's weird i know it's ironic you guys are just like how is that freaking you out and you want to be a youtuber like don't you know that comes with the territory yes i know this i know but it's fearful because it's just like so many people are watching you watching me you know and that kind of freaks me out to be that successful you know and it's like yes i do want that success i do want that support i'm just afraid of having that like i'm afraid of what what am i supposed to do with that you know like and that's where i was i would look into her and i'm looking into right now um you know putting a team together so you know i can have like certain ma certain people managing certain things for me um what's really important to me especially what i love doing and i hope to always continue doing as i grow on my channel as i grow um in life is whenever i do post things whether it be on youtube or instagram or facebook or twitter wherever I really enjoy responding back to my supporters especially the ones that I know like I went to school like elementary with high school college um, I've met you know just like throughout the community um, in the soccer world I love responding to people because to me like I don't know like it just feels so like like I want you guys to always feel seen by me you know like obviously as I grow I'm not gonna be able to like get to everyone but I definitely would love to have like a team to manage that part for me like where you know like obviously like my day ones I would always just like personally I would always try to like respond to you guys personally or have my management have a list of like yo you see this person that person this person yo from day one they've been with me every time they freaking comment on my ish you make sure within like the first 24 hours they're responded to you know so that's that's something that i would love to incorporate as i grow on my channel and it comes with success and it comes with me learning how to deal with success and dealing with what comes with like the environment that i'm in so eventually like like i said to help me out with that type of um success i'm gonna need a team i'm gonna need management i'm gonna need um a therapist for sure because ooh, anxiety imagine walking outside and people just running up oh god girl i don't know how i'm gonna feel with that like certain people will be like oh my god yes like and i'm friendly you know but like at one point like i'm gonna I'm become really shy like oh my god like thanks you know and it might come off weird to someone that i'm like oh like she's so like this on youtube but in real life like she kind of awkward yes i'm very awkward like i'm very friendly but i'm very also very awkward and if the stranger comes up to me it could go it could go so many ways but i know it would never be like it would never be like a bad experience i would hope unless like i'm just really having a bad day because we're all humans but i'm really afraid of success and i just need to work on like work on techniques and skills on how to deal with that when it comes work on a management team to like do certain things to help me like keep growing and keep me in line keep me in check <laughs> also got to keep god extra extra close because you know as you as as you level up the devil tries to catch up you know what i'm saying so all of that with me having a fear of being successful it also goes into me having a fear of losing myself I'm just afraid of getting like too caught up in like things that I wouldn't even care about now that it's not gonna benefit me or make or benefit like my supporters you know if that makes sense at the same time it's just like what if you need to lose yourself to find yourself that's like that's like a mindset that I'm trying to adapt and adjust what if you're not even like at the full potential that you're supposed to be at like what if you need to go down this route you need to go through um out of your comfort zone to like find out your, your for, find out more of like who you are so more of your strengths more of what your weaknesses are more of what you like what you don't like more of what you want to do versus what you don't want to do um 
finding out who you really want to be around who you want around you um find out more of like what do you enjoy doing what do you enjoy learning about you know so it's it's a journey that i'm gonna have to take because this is the path that i'm choosing um with the youtube life you know what i'm saying it's scary because i'm just like i never want to be someone that i certain things i've observed when you know a level of success success is met and certain like you know you see like changes and obviously we all have to change i would hope everyone change like wants to change and like change in a way that you're growing not change in a way that like you're yeah, acting brand new i never ever ever want to be that person um but I want to be able to grow, see myself grow, and be like, you know what, like, I'm glad that I lost myself because now, like, I'm really finding myself, I found myself, and I love, like, I mean, I love who I am now, like, look at me, you guys love me too, <laughs> but I mean, um, yeah, like, I, I just need to get over that, you know, um, and then also, like, you know, as you change, as you're doing what you want to do, it comes with being judged and that is one of the main reasons i am not consistent on social media like when i tell you guys i'm just like what is there not to like about me i'm so likable i have good personality i'm funny i'm cute you know like you know like how, how dare you say i don't really like her are you mad est-ce que t'es fou est-ce que vous êtes folle yo but again it comes it comes with you putting yourself out there it comes in every in every inch of life no matter if you're on youtube social media just in real life too you are going to be judged and not everyone is going to like you not everyone's going to love you and it's not to say that you are a bad person or you did something wrong to someone it could just be it could just be like all your spirit just not taken to one another or their spirit just not taking to you and that to me is wild because like again everyone needs to love me but i'm also adjusting that like listen like you're gonna post things up and because it is social media because you're putting yourself out there you you like i also have to keep in mind that i'm putting myself out there and yes i'm putting myself out there for the reasons i'm putting myself out there but what comes with that territory is people are gonna you're giving people not like i'm giving them but like it's gonna be in a space where people are tend like they tend to judge they will say they'll either go with they're either gonna go with the positive things that they see or some people they see the negative right off rip and that's what it is and that's what it is and that's something that i'm telling myself well kendra like you can't control it like there's gonna be there's gonna be some love and there's gonna be some hate that's what you signed up for going on youtube like in the comment sections I'm not saying I'm open to y'all coming and like chew me up, but I'm just saying like if you guys do, like I, I don't even think unless you guys get too disrespectful, I don't even think I will be out there clapping back all the time unless like it's to a point where it's just like not like that's not happening on my channel. But I won't even I'm a, like I won't even spend too much time on that because again like it comes with a territory. I believe that you know you can have your opinion. I don't have to agree and you don't have to agree with my opinions which i'm gonna have a little segment in here too like my opinions that i have um but it's something that i'm really like it's not that i'm afraid of being judged because we all judge like we all judge whether we want to admit it or not we all judge but it's just like i just feel like i'm perfect so it's like what is there to judge I'm kidding but you know what I mean so that's news that's another reason added to why I'm not consistent on social media we're fixing up we're fixing up as we go we are fixing up then also you know being judged there's a whole being judged of what you say and what you put out as well so you have to it goes back to my first point of like be me having to be me overthinking of what is it I'm saying what is it that I'm posting choosing my words wisely because this whole cancel culture 
as much as like there's pros to it that I agree with like people being more sensitive to what they want to say and what they want to post I also don't agree with it too much because I'm just like it's like you guys are kind of taking away people's um, freedom of speech it's like we still have freedom of speech but now there's a consequence that can you know and for one like that whole sensitivity ish again I'm glad that we're able I'm glad that these days we're able to like think about how our words or our actions can hurt someone but sometimes I think like it's it, it it's like it, it, it'd be um like people be taking it too too far like too far it's just like it's like you can't even like speak your mind or be opposed to certain things because it's like oh you come across as this 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 and the such and it's just like no like people are allowed to have their opinions and rights as long as it's not you know for me personally as long as like my opinions are not to um physically hurt someone or make someone feel discriminated against or make someone feel uncomfortable or um not welcome you know I would love to speak my piece but I do understand too not everything is you should share with like the world or certain conversations and certain opinions that you should just keep to yourself or amongst like people who aren't who have like the same type of mindset as you or people who you know y'all could like be different like have different opinions but like y'all could still get along and like have a discussion on the topic I would say like the pros and cons of sensitive like the sensitivity sensitive cancel culture things is that yes the some pros are like we're able to think of others and um empathize and sympathize with other people and like really take into like really put ourselves in their shoes and see how how we would feel if that was done to us totally for that because a lot of times we need to we need to like put ourselves in that person's shoes to like realize okay well you know what if that was done to me yeah i would feel kind of shitty too you know or that those words would have hurt me too um it also shows like like people could be selfless like people could really you know again think about others what i don't like about it is that you know as i said you can't have a you, like it's like you always have to have an opinion like your opinion always has to agree with what's trending or what's like what's like the winning side whatever the winning side may be like it's like you can't have your own opinion and me i'm very opinionated and i feel like people can have different opinions and still be cool or people can have different opinions and still respect each other or be cordial you guys want to be best friends but like let people have their own opinions like we can't all be walking around with the same opinions and you know like it's just whack um and it's also like it's creating too much of a sensitive victim mentality like i'm not saying like listen everyone is a victim and everyone's everyone's a protagonist and everyone's an antagonist depending like how the tables are turned on what day and with whom but this whole sensitivity victim culture thing it gets it gets repetitive it gets a lot sometimes and i might someone might come after me for that too but i'm just saying like this is why i'm not so consistent on social media either because it's just like anything you say do or post up these days like you can't even joke too much you can't joke too hard can't joke too hard like you really can't because it can be misconstrued and i just don't like that like it's a difference if you're really like really like going out of your way to disrespect someone or a group of people or, you know like when it comes to certain things like i'm not missing with that shit but other things it's just like yo just camp to up man like on se camp you know i'm gonna be honest i find i compare myself to a lot of people sometimes and it's normal it's not like i don't do it on purpose it's just like again either subconsciously or unconsciously eventually i'll, I'll i'm gonna google the definition and like really stick it in my brain to know when to use it and how to use it I, pro I promise you guys promise you guys promise you guys promise you guys but for now unconsciously or subconsciously I don't do it on purpose but it just happens that you will see yourself comparing I will see myself comparing myself to others like you know like I'm actually really happy that they remove like the numbers of likes under someone's pictures that 
it's so weird like now that i think back at it that used to like really like make me feel some ways like it used to really make me feel like okay well not like comp like i guess you can say comp competitive but like again unconsciously or subconsciously but i'm really glad that they removed it like i can see how many likes i have but like when you you know like when you go on instagram you go on other people's profile they'll say like well um, liked by kendra nicole and others i really i really fucks with that like i really like that way of doing things because we tend we as people we tend to like really like like likes and these things kind of even though it don't matter it kind of does matter and there's people that really take it like real deep and there's others that take it like to a surface like just a little scratch like surface level but sometimes that used to like really have me comparing myself to other um like others like in my field um and i would just like like you just compare like it's not like really comparing yourself like like look wise or it's just like you just want the same type of love or you're just like okay well we're both in, like i don't know how, i don't even know how to explain it but it just happens that you'll just compare that you can compare yourself to other people it's not an everyday thing it's not an every hour every minute every second thing it just happens like here and there that you just like compare yourself to other people and that's that's a reason as to why like i just take breaks off of social media because i find myself going down like a freaking loophole not a loophole i find myself going down a dark hole just like scrolling and like i don't even know how to explain it but it just happens like you just it just ends up happening that you're gonna compare yourself to other people and um yeah like yeah and my last reason that's why i'm not consistent on social media is because i'm just bored i'm bored i'm bored i'm so bored of the content on social media even me when i think about creating certain things on on instagram or on youtube i'm just like oh it's been done before like how can i make it how can i add my originality originality to it you know without it looking the same and that that discourages me because i'm just like like had I started out, I'm telling you guys, I made a made I made my first YouTube video in 2014, and I'm just like, had I started out then, oh my god, things would have been so much differently. And that's why I think it's hard for me now to like try to come up with like um, content because, like I said, everything's been done. Everything's been done. And yes, I know, like it's all about how I do it, how I present it, how I how I add my flavor, my touch to it. Like I'm just take a break from social media that's not consistent on social media because you know i need to find what's gonna be what's gonna be interesting like what do i want to share that like it's really mine you know how i like to put it my way i'll just say like this like yeah like i'm not consistent with the postings and everything like i don't have like a whole schedule of okay like well every mondays every wednesdays every fridays i'm gonna post up this at this time da, da, da. and in between like i'm gonna do this this and the third i'm not consistent with like that i don't know why it's just as soon as I give myself a schedule for social media, I just become so discouraged. But I will say though, and y'all can definitely agree, that I am very consistent with the type of content I post. If I'm posting here, even if it takes me weeks, even if it takes me days, weeks, months, a couple years, not, I, never, I never took it that far. I'm still gonna come with the same type of video, like the same type of content. Like y'all know me for hair content, carnival content. I start, I start to post, like I post up two of my poetry on my YouTube and y'all gonna know me now for like, you know, my winning seat segment. So it's always gonna be consistent with, 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 with the content that I'm posting. It's just, I'm not consistent with how frequently I'm posting, which I need to work on. So in conclusion of why I'm not consistent on social media, I've decided to take a break from social media and like, work on work on my goals and work towards things that will you know help me out down the line on social media if that makes any type of sense um i do know i want like for me it's so weird i rather i prefer doing like i feel like on in, like for me on instagram being consistent on instagram like that's just 
it just becomes ugh for me like i don't like it youtube i love youtube like i love putting on the camera and like just doing what i gotta do for you guys like that here i would love to say i really want to work on being more consistent on my youtube channel and i could see myself doing that more and it not feeling like a job even if i were to give myself like a schedule like okay no kendra every mondays and fridays we're posting up a video for the winning seed segment i don't feel as i know i want to feel like it's going to be like a job my mind might change in a couple of years so just refer back to this if ever i say something different but for right now like i can see myself really being more consistent on youtube i feel it's more me i feel like i can transition into that type of lifestyle um like qu quickly and um um be more consistent rather than on instagram like i don't know like just the instagram thing like it's just I don't know it's just too much for me like it it's i find like when i when i start off on instagram it was to have fun you know um so just making it into a job like i said it's not fun for me i just like to go post pictures post my little videos here and there and just come off exit like youtube i'm gonna work on that and also like my niece she even mentioned to me, she's like, Auntie Kenny, like, you just need to learn how to balance the two. Because I'm just like, yeah, like, I'm taking a break off of social media. Like, I just can't. It's, it's too much. It's too much. And she's like, we need to learn how to balance it out. And I'm just like, you know what, girl? You're right. And I just need to learn how to balance out the two. Um, like, balance it out in a way where it's healthy. It becomes, I'm using it, like, health, healthily, health, healthily. Yeah, like I want to be able to like use Instagram, enjoy it again, and use it in a way that it doesn't become like a toxic, a toxic relationship between Instagram and myself. And I want to use it wisely, of course, always. And I want to use it for fun and for like, you know, my YouTube stuff and what I love, like what I love doing. I want to use it to share my talents with you guys and stuff like that. But again, it's just things I need to work on before we get there. And I plan on doing so um, day by day, step by step. As I said, right now, from since November 1st, I took a break off of Facebook. Not really Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter and um, Snapchat. I haven't been on Snapchat since May. And I really don't really, I don't miss it at all. I don't miss it at all. Um, but I just need to figure out how to balance the two where it's healthy for me and it doesn't become overbearing for me or overwhelming for me. And um, if you are also experiencing like, you know, like, like you want to do things like, you know, that you can use these platforms to your advantage while also sharing things that can help others or benefit others. Or you just want to show people like, you know, your talents, your creativity, your value but you just have a hard time with um, doing so, whether it's because you get distracted with other things on social media, whether it's because you get discouraged by other things that you see on social media, whether it's because you're afraid of like, like a failure or success, you're afraid of being judged, um, you're afraid of being bored or like posting up boring content, whether you're afraid or, you know, like you're afraid that, you know, like, you're gonna come across as like doing too much and trying to be too much whatever it is like i hope that you like we can all like get the get to a point where we're comfortable with who we are what we're here to do our purpose in this life and get over these little humps and obstacles that's keeping us back because you never know you can really change your whole life and the lives around you by just getting out of your head and getting in front of the camera and do what you need to do and just keep doing it until you are at a place where you're comfortable you're at a place where you still feel like you're grounded and you didn't like lose yourself and when i say lose yourself like lose your morals your values your beliefs your integrity whatever it is however you, however you're made up you know things that matter to you that you don't want to lose in yourself while finding yourself i hope that we all get to that point because those are things that I suffer from and I'm, I'm, I am I'm, need to get over it. Like I need to get over it. And my friend, one of my friends, like three of my friends are always just like, yo, like do this, do that, do that, like be consistent, be consistent. I'm just like, yeah, like I, I know you guys mean well, well for me. And I love that for me that I have friends that really look out for me and really tell me like, yo, like 
you're creative like show people like be consistent do this like just do the work this and that but like it's really a mental thing sometimes and it's really just me being in my head too much and overthinking every little freaking thing is so annoying but it's really me now just being like you know what like that can't be my excuse to hold back from y'all like i have so much to share i have so much i think is valuable to share um and i want to do that and i want to get past that um lack of consistency i need to get over that and i need to stop procrastinating i need to stop being lazy that's the reason that's another that's the like two big reasons why is pro my um i used to be a procrastinator i'm gonna use the word used to because we're no longer using that word to describe us anymore and i used to be lazy because i'm no longer using that as an excuse of to why i'm not doing things anymore um so those are other reasons as well and now i just want to get into a little segment that i want to add into the winning seat segment in my videos and it's going to be called this is my opinion you don't have to agree so in today's part of this is my opinion you don't have to agree i want to go over things since we're talking about you know me being consistent on social media taking the social media part for me, my opinion is stop following people y'all know you guys don't freaking like. Like, that is so weird. Like, stop following people that you guys know. If you guys see them in real life, you are not going to be saying hi to them. That is weird. Stop following people that you guys just stay watching everything that they do, but you can never, you can never click press a like. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about those people that are actually active on social media because you'll be seeing them liking other people's things so you're just like okay so you're not a ghost account like you're actually active but when it comes to you for some odd reason they never have love to give to you stop following people y'all don't like it's very very weird like i do not follow people that i don't care for i don't like or they don't interest me or like i don't care to keep up with them i'm not following you because that's weird that's my opinion you don't have to agree but we can definitely respect each other's you know point of view and if you do have opposing opinions just leave, me, just leave it down below i have no i'm open to seeing like what y'all think if you guys agree if you guys don't agree it really doesn't bother me like i said it's my opinion you don't have to agree and i don't i i like people who challenge me too so this brings me to the end of this video for today hope you guys enjoyed it if there is more to come and as per usual, boo, stay blessed, stay safe. See you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give me a like down below. And if you didn't, tell people vu, la vie goes on. And as per usual, stay blessed and stay safe. And see you guys in my next video. Ciao. Why do you think it's important to be consistent? I have my friend on the phone and I'm gonna ask her her reasons or her whys, why she feels it's hard to be consistent on social media. So that's question number one and then I have two other questions for her. Take it away, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so why is it hard? Well, I guess like overall, um, people feel like because they don't have their purpose per se, or they're not sure uh, what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It can be hard to be consistent, and sometimes people um, confuse like being consistent as to like, oh my god, I have to post every day, or like um, have to always just have a presence. But it could just be like. Okay, I have a plan, a schedule, and sticking to it so that, okay, if Monday is that you always post a certain type of content or a certain type of thing, or even just to interact, mm -hmm. that's your consistency of what you want to give, you know? Because, you know, that's what I struggle with, and you're always in my, you're always up my backside, you know? But we appreciate you, me and my backside, we appreciate <laughs> you. Oh. So why is it important to you to be consistent on social media? Like, is there, like, certain results that you see that, like, it helps to be consistent? So like overall, like if someone wants to grow or have something, like it doesn't have to always be like valuable, but just if you have your pres presence on social media and you want to grow or reach a certain um, like goal for yourself, mm -hmm. um, for sure, the more you show up, the more in return and people can start to see like who you are or what you're putting out so for sure it's important to keep a presence and also too it can help to you know 
open up other doors that maybe you're not necessarily seeing for now, but it can mm-hmm. help you after. So, you know, can, as like as we can have fun on it, it's something where you can think about it strategically as well that it can help you gain other access even if it's just like for fun you know you're doing great on social media so um like has doors it's consistent (laughs) no but yeah exactly so like what doors has that opened for you like from being consistent on social media well for me like what i decided to take it serious well take it serious in a way like not necessarily i have to make a living out of it but to see like what i can gain out of it from my personal interests and see what I can do with it. Mm-hmm. And so she, I have projects, you know, I like get to have people get to know me more, like what I like, or to just spread like more positive things or like things that I can have in my mind. Of course, like you can share it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but for sure, like, you know, it has connected me with, you know, new people and I've got to learn a lot of things too. Also to like, um work on something and to continue on with it so it all goes back to the same thing of you know you go back to why you want to do something Mm -hmm. you be organized with your time and then you can be consistent on it and like do you ever because like you know me i'm I'm always anxious and i'm always like overthinking like does like are you do you ever like have issues with that and if you do like how do you like get around that and like still remain like consistent and like still in your bag yeah honestly i think you just have to decide if this is something you want to do you just have to like not care who you do it i think it's just as simple as that once you not once you don't care and you don't overthink it like it can help for you to be consistent too all right and is there anything that you'd want to like tell well you always you always tell me what to do like Kendra stop but like for like people people who don't know you or like the viewers if you're on social media be what you said wait say that again Um, if you're on social media be consistent period period if you're gonna do something you will find a way to put it into your schedule having reminders organization and just deciding like you're gonna do it you know and mm-hmm. you'll do it we say thank you to our friend she wants to remain anonymous so we're gonna respect that um but yeah like yeah thank you girlfriend <laughs> all right